but we're going to um, delve into a bit of J- Jacques Tober. It's Jacques Tober. <laughs> A celebration of all things shitty in radio. That's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jacktober. O-S-G. Hosts, holes, bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for <clears throat> Jacktober. I want to see the boat movie. Boat movie. Boat movie. Boat movie. <laughs> People very angry at pontificating proportions. Why? It doesn't make sense. So, uh, Mike, stunt brain, said something. And then another listener tweeted something and said, pontificating. Is there, there isn't such thing as pontificating proportions. Wait a minute. Po- did it say pontificating? Oh, yeah, proportions of, of, of something? Of, pon- of pontificating proportions. Oh, yeah, that's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Who but who put that together and thought, thought that pontificating meant, like, big or... or monumental or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't sound cool, though. Well, it does, but it you could have cool. come up with a, another word for big yeah. that kind of sounds like pontificating. Oh, boy, we're going to Cincinnati today. Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going to oh, say hi W-K-R-P. to... WKRP. Oh, no. Oh, X. We're going to Q102 in Cincinnati. Jeff and Jenny. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if you need to say it with such an attitude. Jeff and Jenny. Jeff and Jenny. Are our Wait, he's focus doing a show today? with two broads. With Jeff and Jen. Oh. Oh, who's the other broad? Oh, I, I, I saw the exclamation point. I thought that was an I. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, it's Jeff and Jen. Jeff and Jen. Oh, it's the ampersand. <laughs> With some other chick. Yeah. With some other... Oh, man, this guy's sandwiched between two holes on the show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What's better than one hole? Ah, uh, two. Oh, now. Oh, now. <laughs> hey, can we do hole day? I was Every thinking about that. At, oh, that's but I was good, thinking about it at yeah. the gym. Just one day where it's just holes. Just feature various holes from around the country. Oh, yes. That is a good That'd one. Be lovely. Maybe good the listeners idea. can help you out. And uh, yeah, we could. I just monitor different shows every day. I mean, we but maybe know. the listeners. It's not Sam on Twitter. They find a quick clip of a hole in their market yeah. and they could send it oh, in. Yeah, and maybe yeah. we could put a a day uh, of holes together. Oh, easily. Can we try that? Because sure, we are yeah. trying to mix it up a little bit this October. Yeah. Do you think they ruin the shows? Oh my god! <laughs> but you guys don't know if, if oh my god, Jen and the other chick are holes. That's true. Oh my god, it's, it's a guarantee. Why do you say that? Cause is it because he's sandwiched between them with his arms folded? Yes. Yeah, like I'm trying to get away with stuff, but I can't with these two around me. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, and they're sitting there going, "We're here to have fun, but not too much uh, fun." You know, no, Do- it's fun like us ladies like to have fun, right, girls? Yeah. Oof. Give me some basic facts before we start playing yeah. the clips. Well, Jeff and Jen, Q102 in Cincinnati. Yeah, they do the morning show over there on Q102. Sure, okay. Uh, they play the hits. Okay. What kind of hits, though? Hits without the rap or mm-hmm. all the hits? Uh, they don't even have... I, th- I mean, today's uh, Twerk Tuesday. Today's Twerk Tuesday? Twerk yeah, yeah, yeah. Tw- oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that do? What are they? They're not twerking. Oh, that's fun, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Today's Twerk Oh, and they show Miley. <laughs> well, yeah, Twerk Tuesday. What happens means. on Twerk Tuesday? They just say that? You can win a download code for the new Miley Cyrus album Ooh. every hour today. But what wow. do you? But what is the Twerk Tuesday part? I guess Miley Cyrus twerks, and it's an alliteration. Oh. So they just came up with something, but there's nothing behind it? Yeah. No. It just sounds cool to say it's Twerk Tuesday on Q102? Yes. Here in Cincinnati? Yes. Oh. What else they got? The bosom ball is coming up. <laughs> what is the bosom ball? I, I really don't want to say what woman <laughs> is singing out. <laughs> I'm assuming it's to fight breast cancer. Ah, yeah, right. that's, a cancer. that's a good nice cause. We could all Very agree nice. with that. Yeah. Of course. What What was the show? Was it last year where that broad put together all the women in a hotel? Does oh, anyone else yeah, remember yeah. that? That was one of my favorite Jacktobers ever. They had the woman convention. Oh Wake my God! Up with these the chicks Jeff are and big. Jen alarm clock app. Yes. What is the What is the uh, alarm? What clock does that do? App? Where you can you mean you can wake up and get instant access oh. to your favorite morning show, weather, and more. Wow. Pretty handy. Yeah, they have <laughs> a fucking so, app. Oh, yeah. 
What else? Basic knowledge. I mean, that's it. They're uh, uh, an adult, I would say, oriented. A lot of soccer moms. Bios? Listening. Any bios? Yeah, we sure. love the bios. We I like love a good bio. the radio. <laughs> and this is where I just <laughs> show bio. Keep referring to uh, not Jen as the girl who's not Jen because she's right. not in the bio. Oh, boy. Jeff right. and Jen have been waking up Cincinnati since 2002. All right. 11 years. You'd think that between the two of them, plus, plus Fritch. Is that Fritch? Fritch? Is that her name? Fritch? She's as big as a fridge. <laughs> she likes going to the fridge. <laughs> she is a fatty. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes we decide not to be subtle. I, I know. Fuck it. Yeah. Some days it's all in. Fuck it. <laughs> I think there would be... Phase one initiated, by the way. Oh, wow. Already? Wow. Yeah, everyone's yeah, on to us now. Yeah. I've, really heard they've, I, I, I've heard they have meetings now about Jacktober. Yeah. Whew. Uh, now, I'm not saying we're going to be well, featured. Actually, just in case, we got to be on this. We need a contingency plan. That's right. I got emailed a copy of a of an email that radio people are being sent <clears throat> ah. to be on the lookout for Jocktober. Yeah, I know. Yep. Bolo. Um, what did it say? It just said it didn't give the Opie and Anthony show credit. It it, it acted like there were a group of uh, like cyber hackers. Terrorists. Terrorists. Radio oh. terrorists. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, look out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all but right. they say, you know, they've been waking up Cincinnati since 2002. You'd think between the two of them, plus Fritch, that there, <laughs> Fritch. That there would be quite a few Sexy. cups of coffee Can in the studio. imagine fucking a Fritch? Uh, oh, Fritch. Fritch. Oh, Fritch. Suck my dick, Fritch. <laughs> Fritch. It's like you fucking ask him one of your college frat buddies. Yeah. That's a frat buddy nickname. Yes. Oh, me and Fritch went out last and got fucking hammered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fritz took a shit in the glove compartment. <laughs> Fritz, I'm uh, gonna come, Fritchy. Uh, Fritchy, yeah. A little info on each of them. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they're not with Q, that's the name of the station. Oh. Fritz loves taking in everything yeah, Cincinnati apparently. has to offer. <laughs> everything every restaurant has to offer. <laughs> Uh, from going to Bengals and Reds games to enjoying summer concerts at Riverbend, she especially loves her skyline. Extra hot sauce, please. All right. A little local reference. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. They just described a regular person. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Who doesn't go to sporting events and, and concerts in their city? Well, that's why you listen to her, because Rich she's does. a regular gal. Uh, well, wait till you find out Jen. Yeah. Uh, you'll find Jen most often hanging out with her awesome son, Jacob, or working on her many hidden talents, which include huh? tap dancing, <laughs> oh my God. belting Damn. out show tunes. Oh, oh, she's boy. Gregory Hines. <laughs> oh, boy. Fitting her whole fist in her mouth. All right. All right. How about yeah. mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and knowing the number of every value meal at McDonald's, Arby's, and Wendy's. Oh. It's all about eating and fucking. So she's proud of her chub. Oh. What'd you hear about Jeff? A self professed foodie. Uh, Roland! Uh, Jeff's oh. favorite place in a friend, Cincinnati yeah. is the chef's table at Boca. Oh. Besides his love for food, he also possesses an uncanny sense of direction. What? Wow. You can drop me anywhere in the country blindfolded, he says. Mm. And I'll, I'll find... I feel like it was just going to be another rest area. <laughs> I, I, I saved us all the trouble. Oh, I don't <laughs> He says, I'll always find my way back. Sounds like a challenge. Oh, it does. That's not me. Yeah, yeah, that. That was yeah. Bio. yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, that that's tells a us a lot about the Jeff and the, Jen and Fritch. Oh, that's it. And Fritch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess her name's Fritch. Well, why don't we dive right in and sure, hear a little right. bit of well, uh, <laughs> the Jeff and Jen show on Q102 in Cincinnati? We start with uh, time to play fake or for real. Man, fake for real. Fake yeah. for real. Everybody, we're gonna play a game. <laughs> hey, job Just, or no job. <laughs> Did he find his fax machine? I don't know for sure if he did or not. All right. He's still looking for a gig, though. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he needs Good a gig. Boy. Poor Squirt. Guess how this one's played. What do you mean? Like, can you guess, based on the insanely original title, fake or for real, uh, how the game is played? All right. Is this story fake or for real? 
All right, you got it. Yeah, oh, wow. Holy what shit. What do they do with limbs? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> At Cincinnati's Q102. It's playing a round of faker for real. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> With that, like, this is torture. Like, the radio uh, could be the easiest gig in the world. Why make it shitty? It's got all the features, too. The bad background music. Or, da, everything da, needs da, a bed. Everything needs a wacky, a, goofy kind of bed. Everyone, everything needs a bed. Everything needs a name. Yeah, yeah. a name. And we're going to phrase it like everybody knows what it is. A round of yeah. faker for real. Here's like, faker for real. You know, you've played it before with us. <laughs> you know the music. <laughs> You gotta make believe uh, it's fun, even though you know it's shitty. That uh, it sucks. It's just getting you to the next Miley Cyrus song. <laughs> it's on Twerking Tuesday. At Cincinnati's Q102. It's playing a round of Faker for Real. Three headlines here. Tell us which one is real, and we're gonna send you oh. to the Children's <laughs> Theater performance of Amy Yay! <laughs> <laughs> for you, Uncle Paul. I like the children's theater. Yeah. All the adults have face masks on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? I like when they perform old Calcutta. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the original Broadway production of Hair. Yeah, we do. Sh we do hairless. Plays. <laughs> <laughs> hairless. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, this stinks. This is terrible. Well, to the Children's Theater <laughs> performance of Annie Jr. at the Tap Aww. Theater. Here we go. Tap tickets theater. to Annie Is, Jr. Annie she Jr. Loves tap. How, how much could the tickets cost? Seven <laughs> bucks? You're winning tickets to the Children's Theater production of Annie Jr. What is Annie Jr.? They all play like, it's like uh, uh, Archie Kids? Yeah, Archie Kids, yeah. Flintstone uh, Kids. It's like, um, it's a tap thing, I think she said. Yeah. Well, she's into tap dancing. She loves the tap dance. I like to unzip my fly and say, Give Daddy Warbucks a kiss. It's not even a little subtle anymore. We decided not to be subtle. It's a hard cock life, Mike. Yeah, son will come out tomorrow. But for now, it's the daughter. Get over here. Let me make love to your mouth. Holy fuck. It's just wrong. <laughs> All right. All right, let's continue. All right, here we go. Is it A, a groom forgets to book his wedding venue, so he calls in a bomb threat on the wedding day to get the place shut down? Oh, I don't like that. Is it B, a woman leaves a purse filled with cocaine at a footlocker and is arrested when she comes back to get it? No. Wow. Or C, a man escapes from prison and goes straight to another prison that's closer to his family. All right. <laughs> 20 gets a guess. I'm gonna say it's definitely not the last one because that's right. Too that's too too like that's a real obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the um, what's the, what's the first the one? cocaine in the Foot Locker or yeah. what was the first one? Wait, do we have to find out the answer? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they received no calls, so that was, <laughs> that was the end of uh, real or fake. They never gave the real answer. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing radio for. Twelve years. Oh my god! In that city. That yeah, was, uh, during spots, they're like, "Man, blow it off, blow it off." We didn't get any calls. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. the end of uh, real. And they you're just, kidding, right? You Did they say that they didn't get calls, or they just moved on? So they, they made believe that didn't happen. They just pretended that that was in my imagination. Oh, that's wonderful. wow, brilliant! They, they said, "We'll give it to the twentieth caller." Oh, oh, they came back and said, "No, they said it in that clip. They go twentieth caller will get the chance to win." Wow, oh, they twenty get, callers. They get one. Oh God! That's that's uh, that's lo a lofty goal. Getting right, so twenty that, phone calls that went nowhere for them. Very <laughs> right, good. So, so yeah, I, I'm sorry I should have interrupted you earlier, but there's no reason for you guys to try to figure that out. All right, we good. will not be getting the answer. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, well, rats. we're gonna move on then with uh, Jeff and Jen, <laughs> CQ102 in Cincinnati. Why is there a picture of a woman? Um, and she's topless. She's holding her tits, and on her chest it says aborted. On her uh, right tit, it says Hitler, and on her left tit, it says cock. Aborted Hitler cock. That's not nice. Seems to be um, a little harsh. Up well, there. I don't know why there are photos of Jim Chandler. Why is Jim Chandler on this yeah. Facebook page? That's weird. The, the hidden picture doesn't look well either. Oh. Uh, <laughs> was that duty falling out of a hiney? <laughs> Who posted that? Oh, oh Daniel Curlin. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. 
Oh, no. That's photo. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, my God. They got a horrendous Facebook page. Wow. Facebook allows this? It's, oh, there's a, black, <laughs> oh, yeah. a naked black guy <laughs> fucking a bucket of KFC. <laughs> Why are the pictures always different? Oh. You never see a double. <laughs> no. They're always finding great well, shit. Amazing. Like, and one of my favorite things of all time. Hey, I did this for you. <laughs> yes. There's the Hulk the Hogan again. again. Taking down the towers. Where are you uh, going? I did this for you. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. That's terrible. Oh, God. This is... Oh, oh, oh geez. Oh, look. <laughs> it's young Sam Roberts. <laughs> yep, there's me. Oh, it's Iraq. Iraq is... Uh, oh, you here today? Oh, Iraq. Yeah. You, you here today? The, you see the Facebook? Iraq. Oh, that's not nice. Iraq? All right, we'll wait. Oh, some idiot thinks I have something to do with that. I don't. You fucking cunt. Whoa. To do with what? And I, that that's why we're not talking about it. Go fuck yourself. Oh, stupid fucking douche. When E Rock wants to talk about it, he'll talk about it. E Rock. Damn. I supposedly had a meeting and made sure that yeah, we we're talking about it. Did you? Uh, why'd you? Ask, why'd <laughs> that happen? <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking dicks. Photo of intern David. With a mustache and a wizard hat. A on. wizard hat. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, seems like their Facebook is <laughs> another Iraq Jesus. phone number picture. <laughs> I love the Iraq phone number photo. <laughs> <laughs> now I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. What's next? Since sure, that failed right. miserably. Well, their their little game failed. <laughs> yeah. Even they said out. you know how to play, so they have played this game yeah, before. Come yeah. On. Yeah. I think their prize was shitty. Mm. What was the prize again? The fucking kids' theater tap dancing fucking Annie Jr. True. Yeah. Sucked. Great prize. Jeff's got an unbelievable, interesting <laughs> story about Starbucks. <laughs> the Paul Williams <laughs> Army. It says Paul Williams Army, nigga. And it's a picture of Paul Williams. All right, well. <laughs> oh, our fan base has to turn into the Paul Williams Army. Oh, yeah. We yeah. love Paul Williams Army. <laughs> Gonna give him piano lessons for Christmas. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Jeff's got an unbelievably interesting story about Starbucks. Oh, want to hear it? Yeah. And there are a ton of people out there who consider the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte one of the best parts of fall. So let's hope this doesn't ruin oh, it for it you. But good. you should know. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> there's the whole. Oh, that whole voice. <laughs> oh, it is good. good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> It's Fuhrer. <laughs> Dennis Falcone. Yeah, this is Dennis Fuhrer. A photo I know, of, but... of Hitler yeah. with his hand up giving the salute with a swastika, of course, emblazoned on his arm. However, Denny has photoshopped his head yes. over the Hitler face. Big smile, and it says Dennis Fuhrer. Dennis Fuhrer. That's funny. All right. Oh, actual pumpkin in the pumpkin spice. What do you mean? <laughs> it tastes like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Once again, we need your help. We want to do a whole day where we just feature the whole. So we need you guys to monitor some fucking local radio and, and uh, send in some clips. All right? Send it to Not Sam on Twitter, please. And, and this woman misunderstood because she <laughs> she likes a, a bumpkin. A, 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 a bumpkin. I meant to say a bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I am oh, a bumpkin. Oh, no, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, boo. A bumpkin. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Good. You should know there's no actual pumpkin in the pumpkin oh. spice. What do you mean? <laughs> it tastes like it. The flavor Clean. actually comes from cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and a pumpkin pie flavored syrup. Syrup, yeah. Yeah, it's all the shit that makes pumpkin taste good. You, pumpkin yeah. sucks unless you spice it right. up. Right. What? There's a warning of a Denny NATO on there. <laughs> Denny Nato. I love is a tornado with Denny's face on it. I love that Dennis Falcone has become the face of Jack Tober. <laughs> He's the man. Oh, uh, yeah. Pie flavored syrup. Syrup, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. You know. Which is actually made of chemicals and spices, but no real pumpkin. Isn't that amazing how they can simulate it, though? Almost exactly the taste of Aww. pumpkin without using pumpkin. Oh, it's a oh. Let down oh. What was the hole oh. for? Oh. Oh. Wait, what did she say that for? I don't know. That's just, just a noise. 
she makes. Yes, oh. it's the noise of the hole. Like, who cares if there's not real pumpkin crammed into this drink at Starbucks? <laughs> or oh, try the preteens. Dennis Falco. Dennis Falcone's hard <laughs> drive of preteens. <laughs> a goofy smile. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We got some funny uh, listeners, man. There's a picture of a hard drive, and the word preteens is written in like. Oh, cum. God. Yeah. The hey, cum font. <laughs> Opie, you're exactly right, though. Pumpkin. If you just took a spoonful of pumpkin out of a pumpkin and ate it, it wouldn't taste like pumpkin pie. Right. The reason it tastes like pumpkin pie is all the shit they put right. in it, and that's the shit they're putting in the fucking so, dumb coffee to make it taste like that. So, so why is they, this a story? Why is it even a story? No one takes a pumpkin and, and cut it up and, and eats slices, because oh, it's oh, shitty. Oh, oh. Why did she do that? Can we hear that again? You can simulate it, though, almost exactly the taste of oh. pumpkin without using pumpkin. That's a letdown, Modern though. Technology. It's not. It's why is it a this is so down. stupid? The, the angle is... Wait a minute, has anyone actually ever tasted pumpkin? Right. Because the answer would be no. Yeah, put some pumpkin in your coffee and tell me how, how much better it is. No one sits dummy. around and, and eats pumpkin. Some asshole figured out if you put a, a bunch of spices together, it, it can be tasty. <laughs> a, dog, a dog fucking a girl. What kind of fucking it's just radio terrible. station is this? It's There's just another photo of Denny. Terrible. Yeah. And the, the caption says... Uh, I don't always do shitty radio, but when I do, actually, I always do shitty radio. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she be let down? Because it wasn't... Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Oh, that, oh, that's a let down. Oh. But the point would be that that means she tried... She likes pumpkin, but no one likes no, pumpkin. No, of course not. We invented pumpkin <laughs> flavor. Yes. But it's all that spice shit. Oh, oh, now exactly the taste of Aww. pumpkin without using pumpkin. That's a letdown, Modern though. Technology. It's amazing. I don't think you're drinking it for the health factor. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. That's <laughs> true. That <laughs> matter. Any more than people. What, what happened? What happened? I can't even what say it. Happened? It's so <laughs> offensive. I can't even say it. Wait, you're tongue tied on something <laughs> offensive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a really, <laughs> really bad one. Holy oh, shit. it's hilarious. <laughs> they allow this on their Facebook page? This is I don't know what promotion they were running. <laughs> oh, my God. How do we explain? How do you explain this you one? You can't. You that's really just offensive. Can't. It's uh, really, really, that, that one's in poor taste. Wow, wow. Guy offensive. with a garden hose. There's yes. no reason for that. Yeah, for the uh -oh. people playing along, it's the one with the hose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, Peter Anthony Nugget. I shit coming out. This is terrible. Uh, Hitler in a gangster wear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh these oh, are marvelous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go, go, to go back. Go to the <laughs> <your head>. <laughs> <laughs> whole promo photo. They officially made my neck into a giraffe neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh fuck. You guys oh, are funny. Oh, these oh, are no, no, no. great. Dude, we have so many more clips. Let's get to the end of this one. <laughs> Tim Sabian says, Jacktober approved. And, and then there's a lot of boat movie posters. There's a picture of Tim giving the devil horns. Yeah. <laughs> Rumor has it now that he's working for us or with us. He's, you know, they're not allowed to say his name on the other place. At the other place. Really? So, yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. Whew, that's funny shit. Oh. Using pumpkin? That's a letdown, Modern though. Technology. It's amazing. I don't think you're drinking it for the health Is factor it? of... No, yeah. you're not. Yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> Does it matter? Any more than people actually go to Starbucks for coffee. It's so good, though. <laughs> that's why I go to Starbucks. Wow. For coffee. Yeah, that's Everybody right. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. Coffee. For coffee, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit. it's got its deep radio guy voice. Oh, and, awful. Uh, yeah. Poor guy. I just feel bad for the guy. What are those ladies oh, laughing? Situation. Why are those ladies These laughing? Situations. It's what? good natured. But why? Why are they laughing? Just to push the whole thing forward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they were just talking about well, Starbucks. That was an unbelievably interesting story about Starbucks. Thank you, Sam, for bringing that to our attention. You're welcome. As we take a look at Q102 in Cincinnati for October today, Jeff and Jen. I want the Jeff and Jen alarm. Well, how, can we? What does it sound like? You can download it. I'm sure it's just the show that comes up. Oh, you think it's just like a clock radio? <laughs> Jeff has a story about men 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That photo of the guy from the uh, public access show we were watching. <laughs> and they were all, well, come, come to the cabaret. Oh. <laughs> Is that me? Here, it looks like you it? could be oh, fucking a like, pumpkin. Yeah, it looks like someone fucking a pumpkin. No, no that's not God. me. God. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's, I mean, I this Look at some of these Facebook postings. Uh, there's some angry people out there today. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a lot of fans. They're really good. Yes. I mean, they just keep posting and posting. Yeah, <laughs> David again. They love David. <laughs> love that one. Well, somebody's Facebook name is actually David Freed. <laughs> yeah. And we never gave out the Facebook page, so I guess no. this has to be their listeners. This is their listeners. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just one after another. Picture of Chip. That's yeah, yeah. great. That's yeah, good. All right, here we go. Jeff yeah. has a story about men being better drivers hmm. than women. Oh, you got oh, it, Jim oh, Norton. The girls are all like, uh, I don't think uh, so. Now yeah. look out. I don't think so. It's two against one here, honey. Look out. Uh -oh. Here is the latest blow in the endless battle over who's better at driving, men or women. What? A judge has officially ruled that men are better. Ooh. Of course, the judge happens <laughs> to be a man, but I'm sure he was completely impartial. Mm -hmm. uh, Javier Albar is a judge in northern Spain. He was ruling on a discrimination case oh, where so a company this. was offering driving lessons to men oh. for $900 and to women for $1,170. Uh -huh. The company said they were charging women more because female students needed an average of five more classes than male students mm -hmm. before they oh, were ready to get please. their driver's license. Oh, uh -oh. oh God. Oh, please. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. I wish they would now do a story on who, who, who makes better rapists. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> But this is good nature. <laughs> this is some good natured fun, you know, guys. Oh, the, the the battle between you know, men and women. Who's the better driver? Oh, mm. please. Keeping oh, it, please. Keeping it light and fun, you know. Yeah. They were oh, ready to get please. their driver's license. <laughs> this is crazy. Crap. I agree. The company oh. was fined. $5,500 uh, for sex discrimination. Uh-huh. So they fought it and went to court, and last week the judge overturned judge. the fine because he said there is statistical proof that uh -huh. men really are better drivers than women. There you go. He cited official traffic statistics from the Spanish government and said every single <laughs> year men display greater dexterity and better open road skills. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's in Spain. Please. I don't know about Whatever. that survey. Spain. Maybe Spanish men. <laughs> I don't know. Spanish men are sexy because they're just such good drivers. That's right. right. <laughs> what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Jesus this Christ! This is going crazy. Uh, Takes you to a story. Which gender uh, destroys a radio show better? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they. Oh, oh, now that's crap. I guess the guy. And their thinks... punchline was, "Oh my goodness!" Oh my goodness! Well, the dude did just get over <laughs> saying that he thought Spanish dudes were sexy. Well, well, yes, you know, he did. I can argue with that point, Sam. Oh my goodness! Time to play. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Time to play. Yeah. Yes or BS? Isn't that fake or real? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because, yes, it's just like fake or for real. <laughs> oh. Come on. But this time they get a caller. So they just changed the name of the oh. contest. <laughs> fake they, or for real is the same thing. But that yeah. failed. So they All decided right. to just change the name of the contest. Right. Do it in the second hour. Make it a little more edgy. Name. Right. Yeah. Right. And they did get a phone call, which is very uh -oh. good news. For Jeff and Jen at Q102 in Cincinnati. I'm Fritch. Yvonne, welcome to Jeff and Jen's government shutdown. Yes or BS? How are you doing this morning? Uh, great. How are you guys? Excellent. Doing good. This is a, a true false kind of quiz here, and you just got to get the best out of five. Okay. Dumb bed. You've been watching a lot of the news about the shutdown? Not really. <laughs> I, I mainly rely on you guys for all my. Uh, oh, well, then you might be in trouble. <laughs> well, we're sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, look out. <laughs> <laughs> They're wild. Because oh, we're uninformed. <laughs> <laughs> that one's accurate. Uh, that's terrible. Then you might be in trouble. Well, we're sorry about that. <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> All right, yes or BS? Every single president since Gerald Ford went through a government shutdown. Yes or BS? BS! BS. 
That is BS. Hmm. But not all that far off. All of them except for George W. Oh, look at that. He was the only one that didn't. Uh Uh Here we go. Yes or BS. During the shutdown, you can still get into the Smithsonian if you show security a picture of Miley Cyrus spanking a huge teddy bear. Oh. Oh, uh, yes. BS. That is BS. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought it was It's yes. completely Absolutely shut down, true. right? It's <clears throat> completely shut down. Yep. What? What? <sighs> oh, my God. This is the point they of do October. five questions. Yes, Where it yes. just gets tiring. Yep. Oh. We lose all the energy quickly. Oh, okay. now we're stuck listening to this I shit. I know, yes or BS. Well, uh, the thrilling conclusion, Anthony, oh, thank God. to yes or BS with the announcement of the grand prize. Oh, what is the prize? Do you want me to tell you? you want me to spoil it, or do you want to find out? I want to find out. Okay, yeah, good. Find out. Good. Yes or BS, you get this one right, you win. It's that easy. The government shut down every year while President Reagan was in office. BS. You're right. Oh. That is BS, but it's very close every to true. One is yeah, there was a moment where I yeah. doubted myself. I just, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Sexually? it shut down every year except for 1985 and 1988, but huh. every other year. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. People forget that about President Reagan's yeah. years, I think. Huh. Yeah, so you win. Oh. All right. All right. We'll hook you up and send you to a children's theater performance of Annie Jr. (laughs) Oh, it's the same shitty prize. Oh, the same shitty prize of Annie Jr. stupid sponsor that needs uh, help with tickets. we got to give away these Annie Jr. tickets. Oh, Oh. my God, because that'll get everyone calling about the show, and we'll do well. Ugh. What the fuck? We couldn't give away these tickets. Wow. Well, I guess that's it for today. Are you sure? What? You want more? Well, is there anything that's not one of their Mark. little fucking contests? Well, the gang talks about why you shouldn't eat before surgery. Oh. See, I like when they just riff. Okay, yeah. the girl who isn't Jen, that's Fritch, brings up her breast reduction <laughs> surgery. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, big old fat tits. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going, why would you? On all days to bring that up, the day I'm listening. Oh, Why would no. You? <laughs> is it good? I haven't heard this yet. Go for it. Okay. Chances are, whatever <laughs> your job is, whatever you do, you are probably an expert at it, or at least pretending to be. Mm-hmm. But out of curiosity, what could we all do to make your job easier for you? <laughs> there was a discussion. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Easier for you. Ha, ha, ha. There was nothing funny about that. <laughs> just noise. <laughs> That's the ho- job of the hole is to just make noise. Noise filler. <laughs> <laughs> there was a discussion about this online over the weekend where people talked about the one little thing people could do to make their jobs easier. Yeah. And here are some of the best ones. A uh, surgeon said, really? And I'm not kidding. Don't eat or drink before your surgery. You're told that all the time. Yeah. Some people do it. If there is food in your stomach, right? there is a possibility you'll have reflux and choke when they take out the breathing tube. That's why. Yeah. You'll I have never to knew that that was oh, why. I never knew that. Shut either. up. Wait. Wait Fritch? That's why. Fitch? Fritch? Oh. Uh, Fritch. How do we know she wasn't a, a man? A man at some point. That she voice. She kind of has like a... That's why I never knew. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the boat movie. 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 I want to show my pecker at the boat movie. You'll I never right. knew that that was why. I never knew that either. Well, huh. I, I, I thought knew. they were just trying to save me trips to the bathroom. <laughs> no, when I went in for my breast reduction surgery, oh, I asked reduction? my mom, I'm like, I am dehydrated. I need something. And she's like, no, you can't do it because there's a chance that you'll choke out. Well, now that I know, I won't be so upset about it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, look out. How much uh, breast meat do they take? Yeah. <laughs> how much tittage? How much of the sweater meat? Where is she? Are there any like quality pictures of her? Yeah, Where is that bitch. Yeah. All right, we can end here. No, a little more. A little more. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
All right. Remember, oh, remember <laughs> just oh, yesterday. Just... People have been tagging their Facebook, and so when you click photos of Jeff and Jen, you get pictures of <laughs> Bobo, Bobo, <laughs> Troy Kwan. <laughs> <laughs> With a, a dowel with a little oh. extra. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, are they going to be surprised? <laughs> I got a boat on my house. <laughs> I got a boat on my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Some of these are so offensive. <laughs> Is he rocking his phone? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's bad. Well, remember yesterday. Uh huh. Uh, we asked a very simple question. <laughs> yeah. Why Who not? uses prep burger bits? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Yes. Well, this show uses the prep burger bits. Are we about burger. to hear something we played yesterday? Uh, it's not it's a, what we heard yesterday, but you you can tell listening to it. It's a prep burger bit. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Okay. It's uh, Jeff and Jen, CQ 102 in Cincinnati. Being featured today on Jocktober. We here at the new federal health care websites are aware that some of you may have been having a few minor problems accessing the information you need over the past few days. So, here's a friendly tutorial to walk you through the process. Just enter your personal identification or being sure to change your browser settings to allow for encryption on your proxy server. Then we'll send a confirmation code to your email address so you can log in using your temporary username. Next, change your temporary username to the one of your choosing. Being sure to include at least one number and one letter as well as your case-sensitive password. Once you discover the website is overloaded, you'll be redirected to a shadow website where you can start the process over again. When that time's out, call or helpline, wait on hold, never speak to anyone, and go back to the first site. Then you're ready to start shopping for affordable health care coverage. It's just that easy. And it's all courtesy of the very same people who can't deliver the mail. Your United States government. Healthcare made simple. Look out. You, Jeff and Jeff. Where's the joke that it's complicated that was, to sign uh, up for? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh See, my god. Yeah, that's a that was a good one. It's difficult. Fuck. That Starbucks story, remember that from earlier? Sure. Fuck yeah. That went over, I, I think we could all agree it went over very well. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, I'm let down. <laughs> You're not going to believe this one. Oh, It went over so well. Mm -hmm. This is not real. No, they didn't. They didn't tell it again. No way. They decided to repeat it later in the show as if it's brand new. Wait, so this is... They didn't even replay the, phone, the the discussion. They just decided to redo it. They did it again. They did the discussion all over again. <laughs> yes. Without any kind of inkling that they had done it earlier? No. They didn't say, hey, we were talking about this earlier. You we know, should do that. We used to at NEW. Oh. We do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Well, we wouldn't make believe we didn't do it. We would just replay it, go off oh, earlier from uh, the show. Exactly. We did this. Here it is again. No, they're not doing that. So they got to make believe they didn't hear the story. Oh, how right. embarrassing. This is going to be really douchey. They read a news story, and then they have to put it back in the pile instead of throwing it out, because that is for later. Hey. There are tons of people out there who consider the Starbucks pumpkin spice, speaking of heights. <laughs> this wasn't worth doing the first time. Oh, <laughs> Apparently you uh, are wrong, Opie. Let's see if they're as surprised about it as they were. Yeah. Oh. oh. There are tons of people out there Holy who consider shit. the Starbucks pumpkin spice, speaking of hype. Yeah. The Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, one of the best parts of fall. It is mm -hmm. very delicious. If you guys have never had it before, it is a good treat. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for you, but there's no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice latte. What this do you is mean? This so crazy. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ew! Oh, no! It wasn't worth doing the first time! Oh, no! They have to pretend they didn't hear it? Those two oh. women definitely knew. How do you want to... <laughs> you think they knew, Sam, 100%. from earlier? Dude, yep. That's terrible. They they get to play a lot more commercials than we do. They probably play some uh, songs, right? Yeah, Most morning tons shows, of songs, tons, tons of songs. Of songs. And all so they they've is, run out of material where they're 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 taking a who gives a fuck story from earlier and redoing wow. it. Just print out another news story. It's, there's a ton of news no, out you there. You know what? The audience turns over, and it's a whole new audience. The PD told him that, and you know something? There's nothing wrong. With just doing a break that you feel uh, was with a strong, strong break, oh, and you get on there later on and do it. That show, you know what that shows? There's really no consideration that whether you're entertaining your listeners or not. Right. There, there's just none, because there's people that probably are listening from earlier. 
that are going like, what? How embarrassing <laughs> is that? Hum- so if you replayed the oh. break, that's not as bad. Right. Because it's still terrible. But uh, To fake the out. What? Oh, that's, that's crazy. No, what's crazy about it? Oh. It's not crazy because, once again, no, yeah. I'll, I'll repeat my part. <laughs> <laughs> no one eats pumpkin. Oh. But that wasn't crazy. God. It wasn't like he said, you know what that pumpkin flavoring is? It's the vomit of a leukemia patient. Yes. Right. That that's would be crazy. crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I enjoy that. Oh. There's no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice latte. You- and he went for the dramatic pause, yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. And she went, what do you mean? You could tell. Listen they, for the dramatic pause. They've, they've done the break before, so now it's not even like they're just telling the story. Now there's an acting element to it. <laughs> right. So you notice because <laughs> like the dramatic pause, they're a little too surprised Look, about it now. We've been guilty of that. Oh, please. If we're telling a, a story from the old days and yep. like you've heard it before uh, or I've heard your like, story. Whoa, no way. I'll play a little <laughs> bit, a little yeah. bit, sure. But uh, this. Spaghetti <laughs> against the what? What? <laughs> yeah. Yes, what happened Jim. when the dog did Well, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for you, but there's no oh. pumpkin in the pumpkin spice latte. What this do you is mean? Just so crazy. This is just well, so crazy. I guess the according to the Huffington Post, the flavor comes Oops. from cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and pumpkin pie flavored syrup. It's amazing that they can get the flavor without it being in there. Oh. Yeah, see? modern technology. It's fascinating. Yeah. Last time, it's last time. But the so. syrup is made of the chemicals and syrup. the spices, but no actual pumpkin in the syrup. Yeah. That's so Jesus. fair. What do you know? Who knew? It does taste you good, knew. though. They That's put a little fresh nutmeg on top of the whipped creamy <laughs> stuff. It's good times. I think I'm going to go get one of those today. It's and go good see times. You should you do should. it. That's totally right. do it. Gonna get do. your pumpkin spice <laughs> latte on, Jen. <laughs> he left out the oh my goodness part, though. Yeah. <laughs> if Jen really wanted one, she would have gotten one like an hour ago. Right. Earlier when Who they knew? first talked about it. Besides too. us. Yeah. Who knew? Besides us pretending we didn't. Who knew? Wow, that is really that's embarrassing. That's fucking atrocious. That's lazy, man. Yeah. Atrocious. You got a whole staff. You could find some good stories. A whole staff, exactly. Spelled H O L E. Just to keep it fresh for yourselves. Yeah. Or just talk about your life. We got one more track, guys. One more. Do you remember that story about uh, men being better drivers? Yes. <laughs> no. So they're not only doing no. this, they're doing it more than once. They, oh, you don't remember? Oh, good. Oh, my God. They do this, too? They they did the whole... They did a break where they did, like, three or four news stories. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, like, a little while later, they did the exact same break with the exact same news stories in the exact same order. But they wow. redo it. That's what's That's creepy. That's what I mean. They redid it. They don't replay it. No. And they don't mention, hey, we were talking about this earlier, but da 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 and then make new observations. They pretend, like... It's never happened. Yeah, maybe add a little something extra that you forgot to mention the first time you did it. Maybe yeah. if you're gonna do this shit at all. Oh. Oof, that is just embarrassing. <clears throat> we have that story there's, again. There's no wonder why we're successful. All it takes is October. Oh, they don't even fucking try. It's um, just... what? Phase one complete. Oh, phase one is complete. What happened? Yeah, what happened to their Facebook page? I don't know. For some reason. The public, w- <laughs> the public wall has been closed. Uh huh. Now all you can do is leave comments on their posts, right? Which so. include a photo of <laughs> Todd Pengale with Rocky Dennis. <laughs> Rocky Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of, seen a boat movie. That is Scott and. Uh, a photo of the Kool Aid Man taking oh, down the World Trade Center. No, oh. that's got to be Hulk Hogan every time. Come oh, on. yeah, that's terrible. That's yeah. awful. <laughs> Here is the latest shot fired in the endless battle over who's better at driving, men or women. A uh, judge has officially should, ruled now that, that she's talking about the Washington D.C. story <laughs> and say men. <laughs> she ran the one. Yes, <laughs> and was shot to death. <laughs> oh, oh no. no, that's oh, terrible. Well. She's a mom. Oh, good gosh. What is that? It's a Photoshop. <gasps> oh, young Eric Nagel. Oh God, it's terrible. <laughs> he's holding a big jar of mustard. Yes, and he's had his hand in the mustard. Mm. And under it, it says Iraq Army, and then the N-word. Oh. Yeah, you don't yeah. say it either. I don't. Well, you say says, niggas if you niggas. 
Yeah, Sam, come on. Men are better in this case. Of course, the judge happens to be a man, so you have to consider the source. Not sure he was totally impartial. But Javier Albar is a judge in Zaragoza. <laughs> it's the same fucking story. Yeah, it's... A, it's, it's this is horrendous. Wow, what a, what a lousy show. <laughs> <laughs> this is just terrible. <laughs> Lazy. Yes. What an easy gig, though. Oh, look at Kenny Rogers. He can't even he blink doesn't anymore. Look like Kenny Rogers. In Spain, anymore. I guess he was ruling on a discrimination case where a company was offering driving lessons to men and women, but mm. for the men they were charging nine hundred dollars. For the women oh. they were charging one thousand one hundred seventy dollars. And that's not fair. No, it's not at all. The company. <laughs> 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 He's getting tag teamed by that shit. double hole. <laughs> the double hole. I don't oh, think damn. we've seen this before. That's awful. <laughs> oh my God. That voice. Oh, it's not fair. He's got to be out of his mind. To sit with that on a daily basis. Two holes. The, the women should be upset if they say, well, the driving tests were, were, were given by multiple MIGs and he'd throw <laughs> cum in their face and hair while they throw. <laughs> now, how can they drive? That's not no. right. Oh. oh, I hope he swallows his own tongue. Three dollars. <laughs> and that's not fair. No, it's not at all. The company said they were charging the extra premium to women because female students needed an average of five more classes than male students before they were ready to get their driver's license. Oh, wow. No, that's just crazy talk. Well, oh. and the government agrees with you. They find the company $5,500 for sex talk. discrimination. Hey, Mo, that's crazy talk. <laughs> Why I said that's crazy talk, Mo. Crazy talk. She's like, that's good. And she didn't know what to say. Crazy talk. It's discrimination. The company fought back, took it to court, and last week the judge overturned the fine because he said that there is statistical we know. data, yeah, we statistical heard this. proof that men you know really are better drivers story, yeah. than women. <laughs> yeah. From who? Him. That's what, oh. I would love his co-host to say that. Like, I, I heard. Yeah. I heard I that heard story. This. Like Jack Waltz. I heard that story. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't no band leader. Yeah. Yeah, why, wouldn't, why couldn't you at least state the obvious and go, we did this already? Yeah, yeah. And still fool around. Yeah, earlier. And then at least fool around with it a little bit. Brought up this story earlier, uh, in case you aren't listening. Uh, yeah. there or was be a brave enough story. to Hopefully you weren't listening. <laughs> I know you aren't listening. <laughs> or be brave enough to be the person in the studio who goes, look, we did... We're going to make believe we don't know this story? Yeah. yeah. And that would be a fun little thing. Then they could laugh at that, at least. They wouldn't laugh at that. They'd probably go, you can't do that. Yeah. Why? PD would Why get can't all they mad. do shit like that? Why can't you just sort of be yourselves? That's a show that has fucking meetings with a PD oh, all the time. Consultants. And it gives them these ideas that, all right, you know, a good break is a good break. Maybe a couple of times you know, during the, PPMs, the show. the PPMs. The PPMs. You know. We're oh. learning. They're only listening for a few minutes a day here yeah. and there. The odds are that they didn't hear it the first time. It's a strong break. You do it again. You're going to be hitting uh, 90% new people. Oh. <laughs> Stinks. It's horrible. <laughs> These fucking pictures. <laughs> the guy is talking to his cat. Of course he is. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, Apparently, their leader, whoever is organizing this attack, yeah, their leader is uh, Dennis Falcone. <laughs> so, wow, <laughs> Sam is crying. It's so funny. I just love the idea of Dennis Falcone being the leader. A lot of funny shit that happens oh. in, on this show that you don't laugh at, and then you find the silliest shit to lose your mind over. Well, I mean, who would have thought that <laughs> Dennis Falcone? <laughs> The guy who's given his life to radio would lead an attack like this. Well, now that right. he's the official leader, don't you think he should come in here? And uh, I mean, I, I what do you think, guys? Quite that far. Is sure. That. Yeah. Maybe later. I mean, maybe later. Let's tease that. <laughs> I think we're okay with the photos. Yeah, he'll be coming in at ten. <laughs> there you uh, go. Okay. We need it now for October. Sam, we can put one together for tomorrow. just a quick little stinger. A lot of stingers. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. There you go. And that's it for today's Jocktober. Thanks to Jeff and Jen for being so awful at Q102 in Cincinnati. Terrible.
Oh, redundant. We got our heads. We'll use this out every day. A staple. I'll see the boat movie later. I'm going to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see a boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see a boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> Are you recording him every day? Uh, not every day. Well, Enough. You should every day. <laughs> Just because. Yeah, because cool. every Friday, Scott and Todd day for uh, this this year's October. <laughs> All right. That was a good one. <laughs>